Welcome to 102.5 The Towers. Say something and hang up. And this is a very special episode. Thank you for tuning in to witness the beginning of the new modern radio, new modern new world. Modern age. It's your host, Jay Marie and BB Gunn. And we're here to uh, discuss the episode that you all didn't even know you were waiting for. It's the new modern episode. And it's been we've coming been, for a while. We've been biding our, times for, our time for a long time. We've had this, uh, yes, it was, it's been in the works even before we knew it was in the works, and, uh, and it's finally come tonight. Uh, we're here to share with you what you probably already know from us, if you've learned, any, if you've learned anything from this show, if you've been watching, um, you know our stance on, uh, especially from the effort and apathy versus apathy episode, and uh, our take on life and art and where it's going, where it's been, where it is what it should be, what it shouldn't be. We've been brewing on these ideas for a while because we wanted to make sure that we could be concise and know it's kind of been a feeling for a long time and we've just been able to kind of put words to it and we want to talk to you about it. So call us at 415-652-1813. We should call some fellow modernists tonight. Well, if they don't call us, I think we have a few watching us right now. We do have a few watching us. Hello out there. Let me turn mm. this a little so I don't have to... All right, well, so New Modern. It is an art movement. It is a life movement. It is a change in the world. And it's uh, the, what, the predecessor of postmodern? No. And, well, yeah. Wait, predecessor. Does that mean after or before? <laughs> it comes after postmodernism, but it's a continuation of the modern Spirit. world that... The spirit, the energy, the aesthetics, the value of beauty that came before post-modernity. Post-modernity did its best to destroy beauty in the name of, like, equal equal rights. I don't know. It claimed that it was the new way, like, post... It claimed modernity was the cause for war, but there was war before modernity. Well, it blames it, modernity for everything on everything on modernity. Inequality... And more, yeah, everything. It, it's stupid. Postmoderns don't know anything. It's okay. So, yeah, it really, uh, postmodern pretends that it's the solution and the be end all, be all, end all of art and life and thought. Uh, it claims that everything has been said and everything has been done. And if you think about that statement and the fact that I have been taught that in school, I have had my professors tell me that there's no such thing as an original thought now. There used to be, and that used to be, was only uh, a few decades ago. If you think about how ridiculous that statement is, that post-1960, everything has been said, everything has been done, that is maybe the stupidest thing you could ever think of to say when we as a species have only been around for so long and apparently we have mastered everything at 1960, that was it, we're done. Well, modernity was kind of an acknowledgement of progress and an acceleration of progress. An excitement yes. and a reason and, it and a love of, affair with it, an obsession. It takes into account uh, that things that come fall apart, everything is built up and then destroyed, and that's modernity. And All that is solid melts into air. And post-modernity wanted to, wants to claim that it's the last thing, and it's just going to be absorbed into modernity, because modernity is not going to stop, because it, it is the continuation. It's like the naming of the continuation. As much as postmodern wants to be postmodern, it is just another... This, it's just another faucet of modernity. It's just another cycle of it, and it's going to end too. It's all going to end, and something else is going to start. Postmodern is ending. New modern is beginning, and it is and it is accepting of all that has been and all that will ever be. And new modern will never be something to say we are. I don't know it because we even acknowledge by creating a postmodern uh, out of a reaction from postmodern, we are also recognizing that someday there will be a switch in the a swing the pendulum will swing in the opposite direction again we're going to have post new modern and that we're asking for that because it's going to happen come and get it yeah but you know what that's the kind of thing that's not going to happen for a long time because you know what postmoderns are lazy they're apathetic 
they're boring. They don't want the prizes of life. They don't want to win. I hope they're coming for me because the top is lonely. It is lonely at the top of the echelon. So I, we have no one. We have no one chasing after us. Is it? So if you want to be on the right side of history, if you want to join our side, if you want to fight the good fight, check out our website www.thenewmoderns.com. Um, but give us a call to 415-652-1813. We're really excited. You should be too. This is fun. It's really fun. It's champagne. It's the park. It's croquet. It's cake. It's dancing. It's music. It's working really hard and, and loving it. It's sweating. It. Yeah. It's, it's, it's tears in your eyes of the exhaustion and the beauty of life. It's the excitement of being alive and, and doing all that you can before you die, and even in the acknowledgement that even after you die, what you have accomplished while your life is still going to live on just as much as today. Postmodernity says that when you die, um, you're not going to, like, you don't matter. You don't matter when you're alive, and you don't matter when you're dead, because all we are is just these little ants crawling around the world. But do you know what? We're, we, want, we offer you grandeur. We offer you a uh, amount of, like, you, won't, you will not die. You will never die. Because new, new modernity is eternal, and if you participate, so are you. Because we all are, but postmodern wants to act like, yeah, we're already dead. If you want to be, you can. If you work for it, you can. Exactly. So, I don't know. Uh, I do, I do want to say uh, the, the newmoderns.com, it is somewhat, it's, it's in the beginning process. Uh, it's not it's completed. Growing every it's day. growing every day. Uh, but right now, you can go read. Uh, a manifesto, and then a closer look into the style of new modern to have it clarify, you know, some clarification between new and postmodern, and uh, and some other a, a very fun video uh, that explains the aesthetic and the beauty of the, and the feelings of new modern, and uh, yeah, it's but check that out in the coming weeks. It's gonna be awesome, and explain explain it better in text than we ever could right now. But I think we're doing a good job. Hopefully. We, we get really excited when we're around you guys. We do. Uh, <laughs> and the, I actually feel a little more focused tonight than I have been in the past few weeks. We've been... We're not as stressed right now, and we're also not drinking right now. That's after. <laughs> we're going to go... We're, see, even after this, even after doing our radio show that no one asked us to do, that we do every week, that we theme, we make posters, we put up posters... We advertise online. We're not making any money. That money never even was a, even a third thought when it came to this. And yet we do it constantly and uh, have been for a year. And uh, even after this, we're going to go to the bar and have a few beers. Uh, and we're going to work on a manifesto, a smaller one, a very uh, concrete one that Something we can... Something a little more, like, sound bitey, You yeah. know, a little more declarative and assertive. Not that the other one is less, but it's like something a little more concise. Yeah, and offers up um, yeah sound bites of all these different ideas that we're discussing, and uh, and that also can be printable and kind of like and distributed. A, like we already kind of we kind of have the Declaration of Independence, knowing it's going to work on like a Bill of Rights type of thing. Right, right, yeah. So it'll uh, we have new viewers, so I'm just letting you know that we're yeah we're going to be making the fan manifesto tonight. It's going to be awesome. So. Uh, but you can go to the, the newmoderns.com right now and uh, read the extended version. So, should we give someone a call? Let's call someone. You're not calling us for some reason. You should call us. Don't don't be apathetic. <laughs> call. Pick up the phone and call. It's not hard. It's Say your not numbers. scary. Four one five six five two one eight one three. It's so easy, and it's going to be fun. You're we're so be, nice. We're not going to be mad at you for calling. You're watching us on the computer, but we're on the real radio, going through the airwaves, old school style. This is like the, how radio is supposed to be. It's participatory. New modernism is participatory. <sighs> what a lovely evening. What a lovely life. I wonder, I wonder if I wonder if Seven's uh, listening, or watching. I'm gonna Seven. Why don't you call me? Cause I'm afraid that you're not gonna want to talk to me if I call you. Who should I call? I don't know. Um, we could call Shelby. 
Uh, we have a salon, a new modern salon. Um, you can come if you want, if you so desire. Uh, we discuss art and life, and we eat good food, we drink good liquor, uh, and we just hang out and we talk and we talk and we talk, and we figure out the mystic truths, we reveal mystic truths, and, uh, and we just drink so much champagne, and we eat so much cake, and it's so much fun, and this is new modern, and uh, we don't, and you know what? And when people don't come, you know what they're doing? They're in their bed with their computer doing nothing. And you know what? It's Monday night, so it's okay if you do that right now. But on a Sunday night, twice a month, you should come out and hang out and discuss art and discuss life. So, because we're on the edge of glory. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You will be welcomed into new new modern. And if you're if you have an objection, you are equally welcome. Come on down. Let's, Prove us wrong. Let's argue. Let's argue. You think that I'm wrong for wanting to enjoy life? That there's children starving in Africa? That there's nuclear waste and bombs and poverty and corporate cor like there's corporate inequality that will never defeat the government. That's and intertwined with big business. Well, do you know what? Like, I want to. I want to argue this with you. Call me up right now. Call BB. Let's do this. Okay, cat. We're gonna. Yes. How does this work? Like that. Just realizing I shouldn't wear black lipstick tonight. That would be nice. Hello, cat. You're on air. For say something and hang Welcome up. Welcome to the show, cat. Welcome. We know you're a watcher, so. Uh, it's our new modern episode tonight, and you've been recently getting indoctrinated. indoctrinated. Uh, you know, you know where we're coming from. What's your, your What's your stance on this to share with the audience at home? She knows. Good, and this is a not an artist talking. She says all the time. She was she was kept far she, far away from art as a she's child. She's a businesswoman. She is a business major, I think, and she <laughs> she's loves the it. future of business. Yeah, she and you know what? And she knows that we're not doomed. We yeah. have power. The pow the personal is political, right, Kat? It is. I absolutely agree. Don't we all? So well, <laughs> well, great. <laughs> Well, I'm glad. We got to get you an armband. Uh, why don't you show the, the audience our armband? As that will I. Just a minute, cat. There we go. There we go. We're showing the armbands, cat. Yay! I want an armband. You'll get one. You'll get one. Whoever wants one, you you email us. You call us. We'll get you an armband if you want one. For free, free. For free. All you have to do is believe in the new modernist. All you have to do is style. say yes. Just say yes. Mm. Yeah. And you do. All right, well, then you're getting one. You're getting one, cat. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to add to, uh, to, the, to the lifestyle, to the world, well, hope? Uh, what? Well, I was going to ask, Kat, I know that you do have some arguments against new modernism. Just that you, you do acknowledge kind of the inequalities that exist in the world and how it's not so easily reconciled just by saying that things are good. Um, yeah. Want to so, speak to that? All right. Um, well, I think, um, well, I think that it's not that easy to change on policy level also. Policy level. Well, Policy. All right. And uh, new modernism very much is coming from a, a start with yourself kind of place. It's like a feel good about yourself and your power, and the world can change in small ways, and it will all add up to a big way. If we change our values, we need like the the values that are sold to us through the corporate system, like they're distractions. And if we change our values and we find enjoyment with our friends and our own our own love of our own work, then just we'll all everything the air will be fresher, the water will be cleaner, 
We'll be kinder on the streets. We'll be better dressed. We will have personal pride. We will have civic pride. We will have national pride. And you know what? That will turn into world pride. We won't be treating people in other countries like shit, like they're pieces of... We won't even need them to produce just crap for us to buy. We'll all have food and we'll all share the... There's so much in the world. There's so much wealth. There's enough to go around. World peace. New modern. Okay. I know you believe, Kat. I do. I do. Good. Well, we'll, we'll leave you there. And we'll, <laughs> we'll leave you we on that note. Here. We, gotta we got a believer. We got one. So. And an unlikely believer. She didn't want to believe. No, she was fighting it Until for a while, that. for a long time. I was a skeptic. You guys fought me around. Good, good. Well, you, uh, all right, well, we, we just added a new manifesto to the newmoderns.com if you want to go check it out. Maybe you could tell us if I we made know. any typos. So, all right. Well, we'll talk to you later, Kat. Bye bye. What a doll. That was a great call. What a doll. Well, she was a skeptic and now she's a believer, and you can be one too. People just, just like it's, it's like people don't realize it's hard to hate and it's easy to love and you know what it's hard like do you know what maybe it feels like a cop it is a cop out when you act like or when you choose to not believe in yourself or life but do you know what once you kind of take the responsibility upon yourself for your own life and even for like the problems in the world like we all and you know what? It'll be easier. You'll feel good. You'll be able to sleep at night. You might be a little too excited to sleep at night. That's you're going to think too much. That's my major problem. And you're going to be filled with too much joy. <laughs> you're going to be filled with a lot of joy. You're going to think too much, but you're also going to be really drunk sometimes <laughs> and really happy and really sleepy and exhausted from working so hard. But you're going to feel really good about working hard. Working hard and playing hard. Yeah. Yeah. Burning it up. Or not. Because that's, that's the point. That's the point of life, right? Is to make the most we of it. We get one. We get one. So we got to, yeah, we got to, and we're going to all be dead someday. We might as well just do the most of the fuck that we can and have a great time and change as much as we can, make the world the best place that we can while we're here. And, and you know, even if we don't have kids, I'm not going to have kids, but you know what? I still want the world to be a better place for everyone, for the future, for the future. Because we are the past. We are the future. We're infinite. We're all the time. We're the present. All the beautiful things that you think about the past, do you know what? They're, they're here today. Like, they, we, the beach, the park, uh, we, champagne. Falling uh, in love. Yes. Enjoying a sunny day. Yeah. Good, good weather. Music, good friends. Yeah. Dancing. It's all there. It, we didn't lose. We haven't lost anything. We just, I don't know. I don't want to say we've forgotten, but... It, we're just being told not to do them, and let's do it. Let's ha let's dance. Why? What, there's nothing ironic about it. There's nothing silly. There's nothing immature. Let's fucking dance. Let's fucking drink. Let's be brave, and let's lose our cynicism. Let's be passionate, and right. live that way. We can live however we want, and it's not about money. It's not about fame. It's about just being your ideal self, and it's not... And you might be wrong, but do you know what's okay? Because do you know what? Everything that's come before us has been has fallen from grace and been proven wrong in a lot of ways and proven right in a, long, a lot of ways, and that's just the hand we're all dealt. We're all going to fail. We're all going to succeed, but you should go for it without, without any shame. There shouldn't be shame inside your being, and if you have it and you deserve it, then you should change it. I'm sure if you're a bad person... Maybe you deserve to be shamed, but be a good person. Live that way. Being a good person feels good. Feels great. Don't uh, walk on people. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for life. Well, Care. Get all those fucking sweatpants. Yeah. Get some nice clothes on. Get off the computer. Get a nice white tee. Unless you're watching Say Something. Oh, yeah. We want to... This is very new mm. modern. Look, it's a t-shirt. It's... But listen, you, you've pulled off one shoulder and you got like glorious swans and you're glamorous. Mm. It's that easy. Really? I walked here with my big fur coat <laughs> and uh, which I got off the street. I got this off the street. I got this off the sidewalk. And you know what? We I've never felt it. so glamorous, you know? And it's soft and it 
smells good and and it was off the street. And that's all. That's the, and all I'm the like riches rich. we need. Because I am. There's riches everywhere. You gotta just pick them up. I promise. Yeah, you can. Ugh, I'm. It's really so exciting. Just fucking play along, and it's like it will happen. It is happening, and it's happened in the past. This isn't. It's new, modern, but we're. It's. We're taking, uh, these feelings have existed in people before postmodern, and this is how they lived and how they experienced life. And we get to experience it in an even more evolved way after going through postmodern and having the world that we live in. We can even appreciate it in perhaps new and better and bigger ways. And I think we can, because that's the whole point of modernity, that yes, we can enjoy it in bigger and better ways. And it's all there for us to create and for us to experience and for us to enjoy. In our image... Yeah, it's, it's however we want it to be. The world can be what we want. And it's not a joke, it's not, it's real. Things change no matter what, and if you don't have, if you don't put in your two cents, they're gonna change in ugly ways. And that's pretty much what's happened under postmodernism. And nobody wants to take accountability for the world. They just like chalk it up to the world. That's the way things are. But do you know what? Then the world changes and the wrong people take power and wrong priorities are set for our societies and our civilization. And you know what? We need to put our say in it. And it, you can't be a coward. And then the world will change, but it will change the way we want it to change. Because you want the world a certain way. You want it to look a certain way. You want it to feel a certain way. And it takes work. And nobody's gonna give it to you. We gotta go take it. We gotta take it from the bad guys. I'm tired of I'm tired of apathy and I don't know how many times I can say it but I'm so tired of people not caring, not getting out of bed, not just doing something, not saying what they're going to do, coming through, uh, taking action. Uh, there's just people just not giving a shit. It's just so passé. It's so post. It's so inner sad. We're outer happy, and you can be too. And you probably, you know, the people listening, you probably already are. And it's, it's really the the switch, or, or I don't know, it's like it's a, it's a flick of a switch to realize how better you can make it once you're already in a positive, optimistic mindset. It's, God, pessimism. What's the point? Why? Why would? Why? Why would you be pessimistic? What do you gain? You lose. You only lose, and then we'll win because we'll take over. Well, like, pessimism says nobody wins, we all lose, and then that kind of leaves a window for the people that go like, no, I win, and then there's no argument. Like, kind of like if if uh, there's no, if, if postmoderns want to argue there's no truth, it's like, well, yes, there is, and here's the truth, and now you win, because you're the one that actually decided that something exists, and now you have manifested it. You know what? The right wing works in these ways too. It's just kind of like they, but like ours isn't like about lying. It's like about finding like the little honest loopholes. I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying, babe? Explain it a little bit well, more. Well, no, just like. No, the right wing will kind of manipulate language oh, and yeah. manipulate yeah. people's beliefs, but they're like being liars and they're being self serving well, and they're keeping power it is to be noted that everything that we're doing or saying and doing uh could be mistaken for yeah like a uh, drive for power fame money uh or political action and in a way it's a, all of those things but it's it's the good fight and yeah you could use all of what we're saying and somehow apply it to oh yeah well we need all of this but by the way we need to build a bigger border fence you know just like all this stuff can be possible if we if we're in charge well like our measure of success isn't monetary and our measure of success isn't like necessarily about uh, power but it's about influence it's about kind of influencing well inspiring passion seeing, like I want to see the difference I want in the world that I want to see with my eyes. I don't know. Well, I want to see, I want to see other people like us, who and I know they're out there, uh, to stand up with us or us for to and and for us to stand up with them and to yeah, let's create a better world together. And, and it's a giant uh, collection and compromise and 
And if we're all fighting for beauty, then that's not going to be a bad result. We're not going to come up with a bad thing if we're all fighting for, for people to be happy. And, you know, and in the same time, I also want stronger enemies. Uh, how dare, why, why? It's awesome that we win by default, but put up a fight. And the fact that our enemies right now, are the postmoderns are so just lying in bed, like cutting themselves and crying because there's nothing they can, they don't crying think they can naked. do it. Crying naked, yeah, and bleeding. Just being like, yeah, that's, this is how it goes. I'm gonna poop in a box. You know, it's just like, that's who we have to fight? Like, yawn. Give us a fight. Well, we want it to be fair. Pretty much the only thing that they're winning by right now is numbers. Well, and it's really easy to be lame and really easy to lay in bed. And it's harder to say, I'm going to get out of bed and I'm going to go walk in the street. You could cry naked or you could laugh wearing your fineries out in the sunshine, in the, in the park. In the... And once you're there, I, I believe in anyone that's postmodern, if they, if they did get up and dress nice, get in the park and laugh, and they didn't do it ironically, then I think they would agree and they would make the switch. I, I don't think they're doomed. Come on, you know, like it, anyone, anyone likes to, everyone likes to laugh and we don't need to do it ironically. It's not a joke. The new moderns.com. Coming very down with soon. irony. Yeah. Down with cynicism. Down with dispassion. Yeah. It's we're gonna make it, folks. That's the thing. That's so funny. It's like it's even this show. What we're saying right now, we're both going to achieve life. We're both going to be a success. And by watching, you're participating. And feel free to call us personally now and get <laughs> on board because we're rockets taking off. You. You. I'm not kidding. Like, we're rockets, and you are too. So get on board. Let's go take off to the moon. Got a call. Got a call. Say something and hang up. Welcome. Hey, Sarah. Miss Francine dead on the telephone. Oh, it's Glade. Huh? Glade? Yeah, I... Everybody tuned in, but it's a little late. I'm wondering, um, your, um, new modernist. Yep. Are you mind people or heart people? You know, there's a lot of talk about, uh, scientists looking into, um, this energy that comes from the heart. Okay, um. Okay, I need to stop tuning in. Uh, I mean, I need to stop watching. Okay. Sorry. Here's my question. Yeah. Um, do you believe, or, or how, how do you think, are is your movement um, based on um, things that come from the head or things that come from the heart? Hmm. I seem to come from a heady place, and you seem to come from a very hearty place. Because it's something that there's energy. New modernity has a lot to do with reconciliation of like the past and the future of the heart and the mind of of it, it like is kind of about an acceptance of the extremes and uh well spirit of like let's say someone feels like they are a new modernist, right? And they uh, they want to change in, in their world or with their group of friends. Yeah. Uh, is it something that you're, that you, is it collective? Or is it, you know, is it something like, you're all like, yeah, this is what I believe. Or is it individual? Is it like, uh, It celebrates the individual because the personal is political, but it's very collective in the sense that we feel that 
one person can change the world and it's very, uh, you can hold it. We got armbands. It can be a very individualistic thing, one in the crowd. But at the same time, that one person is influencing the rest. And the rest is influencing that one person. And it can be a little bit of both. No, you want to change it. You want to change it, but God damn it, it's hard. Um, I know I was in the, in the environment this morning where I was in a very postmodern environment. And in the past, uh, I, I've been in that environment a few times. And one time I stuck my neck out and I did a very new modern act. And I tried to change it and I did. I succeeded and it felt great. But now the whole, uh, that whole crowd hates me. And uh, so now when I'm in the environment, yeah, it's harder. And I still try to change it in small ways, but it does suck to be in a postmodern environment and, and feel new modern and feel like you're one, you're alone. That sucks. Um, but you know what? The more, we, the more we harp on it, the more we try, the more we do, it's only the numbers are going to grow and they're going to eventually be on our side. And even if they're not on our side, even if we're always a minority, which we won't be. We won't. We won't. We're going to win. Nope. But it's still, the power is still so eternal and internal. Yeah. All right, so I've got another question for you before I hang up. Okay. You guys are always talking about the inner side, and I'm wondering, because I know that T. Marie is a fan of Marilyn Monroe, and mm. as far as I know, she has a lot of inner sadness, and did. Yeah. Also, a lot of her songs were sad. Um, and I'm wondering, um, knowing the icons that I know that she appreciates, I'm wondering if you guys can point out the icons that would fit your aesthetic now, because I feel like being an artist and being a sad artist, that there have been a lot of... But at the same um, time, you might be, you might... sad people... <laughs> But it wasn't fine, and I keep thinking about it. I'm wondering if you guys can give me someone that uh, represents the new modern aesthetic or belief. Oh, yeah. From the past? Yeah, well, I said, you know, if this, is, if this is something that, you know, if there's people who currently are. Yeah. Um, we, we, got our, we got lists. If you, here, uh, of the past, there's Lee Bowery. He's awesome. Uh, he, did, he didn't care what anyone thought. He did his own thing. He was an individual. He changed fashion. He changed performance. He changed individuality. He changed uh, the world just by being who he was. Um, there's, right in the present, there's Nicki Minaj, who, is, if you listen to her lyrics, uh, is, is, a, is Grace, saying everything we're saying. Grace Jones. Uh, I was going to suggest, um, yeah, I was going to suggest. Yeah, there, there's Blondie. It's a very new modern band. Roxy Music. Roxy Music. Uh, John Waters is a Bruce past Bruce and Bruce current Bruce filmmaker. Very sad, kind of, blah, blah, blah. I mean, we keep moving, but I mean, like, I guess... Who's you know, sad? Like, you Roxy. Brian Ferry. Well, do you know what? No, do you know what? I think you need to listen closer, because you know what? Like, it's not about, like... Okay. You can do be you, sad, but it's a romantic sad. Do you know it's what? It's a walk when in you, the rain. When you, yes, exactly. When you feel sad, you should feel kind of, like... Hot, Melancholy. Sad. You should feel kind of sad with a smile. Like, do you know the Prince song, Two, uh, 17 Days? Like, it's like a sad song. It's like, it's he's waiting for a sunshine, and he's laying in bed, and he's... What? It, yeah, it we're not going to give it. It's part of life. Yeah. We know, it's not like a... We're not blocking off emotion. We're, we we're, want emotion. We're embracing it, yeah. And, and, and sadness can, can create beautiful things, but we're not, uh, we don't live in sadness. We don't live in a sad world. It's not a denial of sad. It's like a re recontextualization of sad. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to figure this out all the time. Thank you for answering your question. <laughs> well, Anytime. Good. That's what we're here for. That's why it's a call show. Check out the www.thenewmoderns.com. Yep. <laughs> Thenewmoderns.com will answer everything for you. And good evening. So, 
Yeah, I think we've we've reached our time. We have viewers and everything, and I want to say goodbye. I know. And our and the next show hasn't arrived yet, so I feel like we'd be wasting I time end by getting on the up. Song. All right, let's. All right. So I think I'm glad we did this show finally. Um, there, you know that every this is where we come from. This is where we've been coming from from a long time, and where we're gonna go. And like I was saying before our call. We're going to be successful, and you can too. And it's not, and I know it, because talk about the grand narrative. People want to push the grand narrative down and uh, say that it's only led us to war, and that's a very postmodern take. But like Marie and I have said to each other without even really discussing it before, that we've been feeling this grand narrative inside of our souls since we were born. Like, I was five years old giving out my autograph to my cousin saying, keep this and sell it when I'm famous. And it's not about fame. It's still not about fame. But it's, it's about feeling a calling, you know? Like It's feeling know, greater than you are and making and going outside and, and creating a better being, life for yourself. Be, be a hero of modernity. Be a hero of the world. Yeah. Let's save whatever the world. Whatever you are, world you know? Like, whatever your job is. If you're going to be a businesswoman, if you're going to be an artist, if you're going to be an entertainer, if you're going to be... Like something more... A teacher, a, a te mom, uh, anything. Be a hero. Yeah, and do and, and put these values into your everyday life, and, and it will make everything better for you. And, uh, and it's just a better way to live. And, and I think, like we've said, if, if, if you apply these things to your life, then we can overtake postmodern. We can get out of apathy. We can get out of cynicism. We can get out of irony. We can escape from this boring... The art world is eating itself, which I haven't gotten into. The art world is eating itself. It's destroying itself. And uh, and it's we're, it's separating the artists from the people. The people don't like artists. The artists don't like people. We're two artists saying we love the people, and it seems like the people love us. I love you. Or like us. So... I mean, we're, we're, we don't have to be enemies, the artists and the public. Uh, we can both. I want to please you. I want to entertain and inspire That's all you. I want to do. I want to have, have fun with you. I want you to be artists with me, and I want to be, the, and I am the people, too. I'm not above anyone. I am a member of the public and of the people, and I believe that every day, and I'm also an artist, and I think that the, the person inside of me, I haven't let go of that. I'm not just gonna make art and pretend I'm better than everyone else and that's what the postmoderns believe they think they are better than you and they think they're closer to God because they say so and that you are stupid and you are the masses and we don't believe that we believe that the masses are just as powerful as we are I feel close to God though I do feel close to God yes to the powers that to are to the gods to the universe yes and, but I think we all are I think that's not Unique. I think that's that's all of us if we tap into it. So, all right. Thanks well, for calling. It was a really good calling. show. Long show. Long show. Important topic. Long topic. And we didn't we scratched the surface. And uh, like we said a million times, the new moderns .com, It is not even ten percent done. But the manifesto and the extended manifesto are up. Uh, the condensed manifesto is coming. We're making it tonight, right after this. We're going to the bar. We're going to write it. It's going to be great. And uh, we're going to put it together. So, I mean, yes, read the manifesto if you're unclear on anything yet. And remember, hark back to this conversation. And, uh, yeah. We're done. We're done, guys. And we're just beginning. <laughs> so, good night. We love good night. you. Thank you for watching. Jay Marie, we be gone. Call, tune in next week. Tune every Monday at 8.30. Good night. Bands. Call in. Get an armband.